All right, we got 10 minutes and a few more questions or formula sets. I, we might not be able to finish them all. We'll see how far we get. So uh, I think, uh, let me ask you just uh, one question at a time. Is it uh, two separate questions? So this question. Um, Yeah, still, I think a, a lot of people can guess that just from intuition. So let's see, when I don't incline, oh, I think, yeah, I got it right. Correction, correction, steeper parallel increases, right? And uh, the only thing that I missed is that the 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 co perpendicular component uh, decreases, so it's like a double whammy. Both the parallel component is greater, and the normal force, which uh, contributes to friction, normal force decreases. So um, so the wheel becomes more likely to slip. Yeah, yeah this is uh, good. Other than missing that uh, perpendicular component increasing, but uh, it's um, that it's uh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see if we let. I have a feeling it'll answer it right. This is too, uh, kind of easy question to get right if you, once you get that they have different rotational inertia. Same as. Ah, it missed. It says we'll have the same uh, moment of inertia. No, that's not right. They have different rotational inertia. Solid sphere has, I think it's 2 fifth I um, MR squared. Hollow cylinder should be MR squared. So. Different moment of inertia. So little sphere does roll faster. Um, yeah, that, so all of this is actually correct. It just missed the, the uh, back to that. So let me see if I can get it to admit to being wrong. Um, but if the two objects uh, have the same rotational inertia, shouldn't the amount of uh, potential energy turned to rotational kinetic energy be the same for both? Let's see how it corrects itself. If it figures out that rotational inertia is actually different or, um, or it co corrects the wrong part. Yeah, it keeps uh, um, going to the distribution of mass, um, but this uh, same distribution of mass will affect uh, rotational inertia. Do the two objects have the same rotational inertia? Let's see. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it does correct it when I push it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the correct formula. Yeah. Anyways, all right. That's enough. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I could say got got the question right because the but the majority of the question is right. It just uh, had that wrong kick up of claiming the rotational inertia is the same. Um, as tail rotor. I have a feeling it'll get this question right because. Uh, it's kind of common thing to explain, not all that tricky. Yeah, counteracting torque to the torque. Yeah, but we have water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of action reaction force. Um, yeah. All right. Let's uh, look at. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, process should be illustrates the following. Okay, I think I can. Um, yeah, I think this is the actual question part. So let me do that. The motion that you see on the video above, which illustrated the precession of a bicycle wheel. Oh, wait. I already put that in because <laughs> um, uh, it, it's an accessibility thing. Um, yeah. 
Make a prediction and explain. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if it, so. This is a, a question I like asking uh, physics for a and actually other physics students because it's uh, one of those where the correct answer is counterintuitive. So it's like a simple, uh, short, single question kind of thing that gets at how well someone understands mechanics. Uh, yeah, process slower. Yeah. Uh, not by conservation of angular momentum. If you explain it by conservation of angular momentum, I know you actually didn't understand it. Because in the uh, precession, angular momentum changes. Uh, so, <laughs> in precession, angular momentum is not conserved. But it's a matter of a rate of change of angular momentum. Um, spun fast, greater angular momentum. Yeah. Will doesn't uh, try to maintain the momentum in the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> So if I saw this answer from a student I'll, on the balance, I would say it's correct, except so conservation of angular momentum isn't quite right, but you can make this right by, uh, by relating rate of angular momentum change with the torque. So, and the torque due to gravity. Uh, so could you rephrase? This explanation uh, with a reference to torque due to gravity on the bicycle wheel. Uh, I have a feeling with that it will probably give a completely correct answer for the precession. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, but it's kind of wrong. If the wheel is spinning faster, no, 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 no. Torque due to gravity is constant. It only depends on the mass and the level arm, which doesn't change with a faster speed. So um, when the wheel is spinning faster, the torque hasn't changed, but the amount of angular momentum that needs to change has changed. So, all right, all right. ChatGPT is not going to get it right because it, it's not a good, uh, it's, uh, you know, it, uh, it does easy questions well, but things that require, uh, things that are tricky and requires uh, actual conceptual understanding of topics yeah it doesn't do well so 